Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Courtney. Today I'm gonna to be sharing 10 thrift items that everybody can find and you can customize and snazz them up either for yourself or even to flip and make a profit. Thank you to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get into this. The first item that you will be able to find at your thrift store is gonna be a picture frame. They often have different sizes, shapes, colors. Sometimes you can get a really good deal on larger frames. So for this one, I just picked up a white frame that had three different little sections in it, and I wanted the frame to be black, so I'm gonna give it one good coat of the Waverly Ink chalk paint. Here I have the backing of the frame, which is gonna be exposed through the glass. And I wanted it to be black, but here, of course, it's got all these little holes and knobbies, and that's not gonna work because you'll be able to see it. Now, if you have a black construction paper, black cardstock, black poster board, that would probably be the easiest way to cover up those holes. You could fill them in, but they were also kind of raised, so you'd have to pop the little grommets out. So I just went the cheater method and took some Dollar Tree contact paper, went ahead and put that on the back of the frame, folded over the edges, and then I'm just gonna paint this black and that'll give me a nice black smooth surface. Now I'm gonna go ahead and give my glass a good cleaning. I'm just using some rubbing alcohol to get it nice and clean. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of a reversal here. So the mat that came with it, I am gonna be using it, but I'm actually going to hot glue that to the top of the glass. Now here was the fun part, trying to customize this frame. This is gonna be something that I hang in my closet. Now, all I did was I went into Cricut Design Space and I just grabbed an image, added some text below. If you happen to have a Cricut, you can check the description box below. I will try to put all the files that I created down there. And now here's the thing, if you have a Cricut, because I'm putting this on the underneath side of the glass, you have to turn on that mirror on, otherwise your text and your pictures will be backwards. So I'm just gonna apply my three little stickers that I made, and then I'm getting ready to finish up this frame. Now I'm gonna go ahead and reassemble my frame, get it all nice and secure. And then the last step here is I needed to add three hooks so that I could put a hook in front of each little section of this frame. And I had some silver little screw in hooks, but I wanted them to be gold. So I went ahead and took them outside and I did spray paint them. And then to get these into the frame, I'm gonna use my Dremel. I've been using that a lot lately and you guys have been asking me about that. So I will link down below um, the Dremel that I like. and. Uh, it's a great way if you're kind of not on board with using power tools it's a great place to start to kind of get you used to that and i'm just going to drill the little holes into the frame and then screw my hooks in and then this little thing is all finished The number two thrift item that you're gonna be able to find is gonna be wooden home decor. So usually it's just a hodgepodge of home decor, but on this particular trip, I was able to find a remote holder, a wooden tray, as well as this little wooden coaster set that when I saw it, I knew I wanted to do something fun and make it for my mom. So when I opened it up, it was practically brand new and I love that you could put pictures inside of it. And the first thing I knew that had to change was that the black wooden holder needed to be brightened up so I took some of the agave Waverly chalk paint and gave it two good coats of paint. Now each of these coasters had a place where I could put a picture so I busted out my HP sprocket. I've had this thing for about four years. It's an inkless portable little printer that you can print things off and so I found four pictures that I loved. I did one of each of the grandkids as well as one of my brother, myself, and my mom. Now that my pictures are printed, I was ready to go ahead and put them in. Now these little coasters had kind of an opening at the top. And so um, I wanted to use the little cardboard insert just to kind of stiffen up these pictures. These are actually uh, stickers, so you can peel off the back if you want to. And so I just did that and stuck it directly to the little cardboard backing. And then I slipped that inside each of the coasters.
Now the backs of the coasters had these paper sleeves and even though I kind of thickened up the pictures by adding these backings, they were kind of slipping in and out still. So I just added some glue dots so that they could securely stay in the coaster sleeve. Now I was ready to personalize this with my Cricut. So what I wanted to do was put the titles that my mom is the most, her most two important roles, which is obviously number one, mom, and number two, Nana. So I'm measuring out um, the space here. And then on my Cricut Joy, I just cut out two quick little vinyl stickers, one that says Nana with hearts, and then one that says mom. And then the way that I put the coasters in there is on the Nana side, it's got the grandkids all facing that way. And then if she spins it to the mom side, it'll show the coaster and the picture of my brother, myself, and my mom. The third thrift item is gonna be a lampshade. You may be wondering why just the shade? Well, this is gonna give you an opportunity to customize one for someone's room perhaps, or even make those seasonal and fun holiday shades that you can change out with the seasons. So here I had a uh, lamp base that I've had for quite a while and I wanted to paint it because I didn't want it to be white. And so I just gave it a about three good coats of the chalked coastal, I'm sorry, yeah, coastal blue chalk paint. Now onto the lampshade. There are a ton of ways you can customize this, but I kind of want to make the make this a uh, or made this a kind of secret hidden lampshade. And so I made it for my son's room, and I was too excited to wait to show him. And so what I did here is I cut uh, cut out a decal, and once again I did the mirror on because it's going to go on the inside of the lampshade and all I had to do was just apply this to the inside. Now this is permanent vinyl, but if you wanted to change it out with seasons, maybe do a Christmas one, a Halloween one, just use removable vinyl and then you can just pull it down and put your new vinyl up there if you don't want to end up having to store a bazillion different lampshades. And then once it was applied, the magic happens as soon as you turn on that light. Thrift item number four is gonna be your clear glassware. So this would be your vases, glasses, bowls, casserole dishes, pie plates. These are the perfect item to pick up and customize and would make great wedding gifts as well as housewarming gifts. And they always seem to have tons and tons of options at the thrift store. So I was lucky and found a glass cake stand and I'm gonna start by getting the stickers off and then cleaning the underside of the glass really, really good with some rubbing alcohol. I then took some stencil vinyl and I created some stencils. Now, because I'm gonna be putting these on the underside of the tray. I did use that mirror on option in Cricut Design Space and I just picked four words that I thought kind of represented sweet treats. I did delicious, scrumptious, yum, and sweet. I'm going to get these applied and then I will be ready to start etching. And now it's time to start etching. So I picked up this armor etch from Hobby Lobby and let me just tell you that the warning label on this thing makes it sound like you are handling radioactive material. So I wasn't messing around. I grabbed some heavy duty gloves from Dollar Tree that I have. And then I saw Kat from According to Cat using these um, oral disposable oral swabs as stencil brushes because number one, you get a ton of them in the box, which means you can just use them and throw them away. And then for this whole armor etching thing, you definitely don't want to try to wash that out and reuse them. You just want to talk it. So I've got myself a big box for stenciling and the goal here is to stencil on in an up and down motion. You don't want to use a brush and you don't want to sweep back and forth over your stencil because that potentially could get underneath your uh, stencil and then when you're etching that's not going to look good because then you'll have a weird little spot. So you're going to take your stencil brush and go up and down and you want to, this is one of those things where people you know, probably your favorite thing is when they say, well, you want to get enough 
but not too much. So you basically want to make sure you kind of cover uh, not too light because if I left it just how it is right there, then it would have been kind of splotchy. So I'm trying to get a good, just kind of solid coat of the armor etch on the stencil. And then you're going to set your timer and let it dry for 15 minutes. After the 15 minutes was up and all my excitement, I forgot to turn the camera back on. So to rinse this off, all you have to do is make sure you're still wearing your gloves. You're gonna just take it, run some cold water and just wipe it I just wiped it with my glove until I got the majority of it off. Then I took a rag and wiped it again. Then I peeled off the stencil paper or vinyl, excuse me. And then I um, wiped it one more time with the vinyl off and that's it. It is all finished. Thrift item number five is gonna be zipper pouches and even possibly some purses. Now, pouches are great because what I find often is a lot of different businesses and companies, makeup companies, will you know spend $50 and get a free pouch. Well, you can only have so many pouches, so a lot of times you can find nice new pouches in there, and these are great to customize for any reason. So for this, I found this pouch right here. It looked like it was practically brand new and I cut out some iron on, iron on vinyl. You might remember when I did this DIY junkie uh, for the t-shirt video I did a while back and same trick with the iron on. You always mirror it and I just use this real pretty vinyl and I'm just going to press it on to this zipper pouch using my Cricut Easy Press. 30 seconds on the front and then I'll flip it over and do 15 seconds on the back and that's it. This pouch is all finished. Now, if you had a vinyl pouch, you would just use permanent vinyl or removable vinyl and you can still personalize those pouches. Number six is going to be t-shirts. Now the reason I'm saying t-shirts is because if you have maybe that one-off occasion, maybe it's happy anniversary or you know 2021 Disney vacation, this is a great place to get a shirt for just that one or time, two times you may wear it and you're not spending a lot of money. So I found this gummy bear shirt um, mixed in and my best friend's daughter loves gummy bears and her birthday is coming up and so I wanted to make her a birthday shirt. So for this, I'm going to use my iron on vinyl, same process as the pouch. I just created it in Cricut Design Space. I went ahead and flipped, mirrored the image, and then I'm just going to apply it to the shirt. And then voila, I've got a custom birthday shirt that she might be able to wear probably two birthdays in a row if she wanted to, but no big deal. The shirt was $1.99, not a big price tag for such a fun little shirt. Coming in at number seven, you're gonna find signs, signs, signs. Often you can find really large signs that you could make over for really good prices. So here I had picked up this sign, the Gather Together. Um, it kind of gave me the Hobby Lobby vibes. I'm pretty sure it probably came from there. And I've pulled out some of this chalkboard paint. Now, I've used this chalkboard paint before. Um, I'm gonna say it was probably about a year and a half ago. Was not a fan but I'm giving it one more try because I came up with a plan. Now, the first thing I needed to do was to go ahead and tape off all of the white lattice on this part because the center is gonna get painted solid black. Now, with this chalkboard paint, I remembered why I didn't like it. It just takes tons and tons of coats of it. Uh, I ended up putting on five coats of chalkboard paint, which is fine. It wasn't a huge area, but uh, I, I, I'm just not really a fan of this Valspar chalk paint or chalkboard paint, sorry. Now, once that was all painted, I needed to go ahead and finish taping off the rest of the lattice because what I'm making here is a birthday sign that we can use for everybody. Um, you'll kind of see how that pulls together. And I wanted to paint the frame some fun colors. So I'm gonna tape that off and then I'm gonna grab four fun colors and paint each side of the frame with those colors. Once 
Once all the sides were painted, I went ahead and peeled off all of the tape all over the sign, and then I was ready to apply my decal that I cut out on my Cricut and I just did a, I grabbed a happy birthday from their Cricut design space and then a banner so that way um, I can put that down and then where the banner is we can just fill in people's names as needed and that's why I went ahead and used the chalkboard paint so that we could do that. Thrift item number eight is going to be mugs. Now, I know Dollar Tree sells mugs for a dollar, but you can often find some really pretty styles and colors of mugs for a cheaper price point. They had a four set of mugs here for $2.99, which is a really good deal, much cheaper than Dollar Tree. So definitely keep mugs in your mind. They're a great thing to pick up to make those easy, quick gifts. So I picked up a white mug and this one is going to be a gift for somebody who loves plants and to uh, apply a decal to whether it's a mug or maybe a yeti cup you always want to use that permanent vinyl so i'm going to clean it with the alcohol and then i'm going to put my sticker down now what i really love about mugs is not only um do they get a mug out of the gift but they also get the gift inside the mug so for this one it's going to go to somebody who loves plants i'm going to put a little plant inside of it and then they'll have a mug that they can also drink of out of after the fact now the one thing you do have to remember about this is if you do give these away because this permanent vinyl isn't dishwasher safe you do have to hand wash these items but this is a very easy and super quick way to put together a small gift for someone or just make something for yourself Number nine is going to be books. Now, books aren't necessarily the best deal at the thrift store. However, sometimes you can find better price points at Dollar Tree, especially if they have an overstock, you can get them, at least at mine, five for $2, which is a great deal. So for this DIY, I have something very specific in mind. I'm making something for my ice cream vintage soda shop themed coffee bar hutch that you probably keep hearing me mention. I'm almost ready to decorate the entire thing, but I did need some more DIYs for it. So First thing I'm gonna do here is just tape off some stripes and I'm gonna end up using three colors that kind of remind you of Neapolitan ice cream. That's gonna be the Cashew Waverly chalk paint, the pink ballet slipper, as well as the truffle paint. And I'm just gonna paint these three stripes. I ended up doing two coats of paint. For the spine of the book, I had thought about painting it the cashew colored, but then I ended up going ahead and painting it white because the decal uh, that I created in Cricut Design Space is black letter. So the sticker I'm putting on there, um, it's gonna have the black text and I thought it would look better on the white. I made a decal that just says banana splits and Sundays, and then I'm just gonna apply that directly to the spine. And then the last step was I wanted to wrap it with some ribbon and originally I wanted to have a sprinkle ribbon and or ice cream ribbon. I went on the hunt to try to find some, could not find any. I had this cupcake ribbon, but I wasn't really digging it. So I ended up buying three different ribbons. They're all different textures as well as different widths. I did the brown, the cream colored and the pink. I just tied it off around the book. And then once that was done, I knew I needed to add some cherries. You may remember when I made that little cherry with the bead um, a while back on a DIY. I'll link that video down below if you didn't see it. But um, I just took one of the Dollar Tree red beads and then took some greenery, trimmed down a little piece of stem, and then just stuck it inside of there with some hot glue and then just attach those two cherries to the top. And voila, a nice little book that I can't wait to show you when my entire hutch is finally pulled together. And the last thrift item that you should always be able to find is going to be shoes. Now, this is specifically the, I guess, 
I don't know what you want to call them, canvas type shoes, slip-ons, plain colored shoes. And the reason why I'm saying this is because this is the perfect place, again, for one of those one-off occasions. Maybe you want to make a pair of Halloween shoes. You're only going to wear them once a year. Maybe you want to make a pair of Christmas shoes or Valentine shoes or happy birthday shoes. This is a great place to get a cheap pair of shoes and get them personalized. So here I have some black canvas uh well, converse sorry not canvas and i just took some iron on vinyl and cut out some little pumpkins little jack-o-lanterns and i ended up just attaching them to the side of the back of the shoe and then i went ahead and i thought to myself okay let's see now you could definitely put the permanent vinyl on the top end of these Converse shoes, but I had some extra of the iron on. I went for it and it worked. So I ironed on some little jack-o'-lanterns to the tips of the shoes and that's it. I mean, it's literally, you take that iron on, you apply it just like you would with any other fabric and it's done. You've got yourself a pair of customized shoes that you may only wear every now and then. And there you have it, 10 thrift items that everyone should be able to find at their store. Pick them up and give them a nice makeover. Let me know down below which one of these DIYs was your favorite. Also let me know what is an item at your thrift store that you can always find. Thank you so much for watching guys. I really, really appreciate it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It helps out my channel so much. Here are some more videos that you might enjoy. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.